For the first time since 1991, Bassmaster returns to Clewiston, Florida for stop number one of the 2024 Bassmaster Opens on Lake Okeechobee. Roland Martin is third place, needs 10 pounds, 5 ounces to take the lead. That's it, 13 pounds, 10 ounces, mark it. Roland, I think it's going to put you clearly in the lead. And Roland Martin is the champion of the Lake Okeechobee 1991 Florida Invitation. Oh my gosh, the 10-pounder, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. You got him. That is it, baby! Woo! There's a lot of reasons I'm fishing hard as I am. And one of them is this lake. I just I just love this lake. I want to show out for it. I just want to uh, spend a lot of years growing up on this lake, dreaming about winning here. Won an FLW here years ago and got a chance, you know. There's, everybody's going to catch them today. There's going to be some big, big bags caught today. I've just got to go out there and catch everything I can and have a fantastic day and just, just have fun. We're going to have a good time. We're gonna stay real calm and patient and do exactly what we've been doing the last couple days. And uh, that's what we're gonna do, you know? This lake's been good to me over the years and uh, I'm gonna try to be good to do it today. So that's, that's the plan. Today's the final day of the Bassmaster Open here on Lake Okeechobee. 33 pounds the first day, almost 26 pounds the second day. I don't know what today's gonna to hold. I've gone in every single day not knowing exactly what's going to happen, and uh, that's exactly where I'm at today. So, let's go get this thing in the water. Widen your, your hands just a tad so I can see your face a little bit better, Scott. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Smile, man. Okay, can't move. All right. <laughs> Goodness gracious, look at that sky. Yikes, it's beautiful. Good morning. Am I in the way of the film? No, not at all. <laughs> all right, well, beautiful morning. Calm. It's going to be a good day. This lake is uh, beautiful. I've watched, uh, watched many a sunrise standing right here in this spot. I'll tell you what, this lake uh, is special to me. Every important fishing memory I have came from right here. Every inspiration to be a tournament angler came right here. So um, it's pretty, pretty awesome to be honest with you. Kind of emotional, really. It's like special to me. Just want to want to win one for the want to win one for the lake, my family. Just want to represent. Just have a good time out here today. It's lake's been good to me the last couple days, and I'm gonna be good to it today. So I'm excited about today. Excited about bringing you guys along. And uh, hey, real quick, we've got merch dropping on the channel here soon, so be sure to click the links in the description. And uh, we'd love for you guys to rep the brand. So appreciate all the support, guys. How do I sound with it when I hit the ground? Hundred mile finish. My moment now ain't no mouse in us. I'm on the prowl and my style fitted. Uh, my time, give me high fives. Get a picture of the wise guy. What's the wave to a high tide? Never stop when you my size. Ah!
nah, we're just gonna fish here for a little bit. That's around. All right. It looks a little muddy, to be honest with you. Probably clean back in there though. Nah, it's a spawning area right here. Good hard bottom, you got dollar pads, you actually have a little eelgrass. And the and the water stays with this grass here, it stays a little cleaner on average. And so when it stays a little cleaner on average, these fish live there, you know. Definitely muddy. We got to get out of here. I'm gonna go up here and make a few casts. If we don't get get bit, we gotta. Like I said, I'm just glad I wanted to get out of my system. I don't want to be sitting here today up there going. Eh, I should run over there real fast. And I don't know why it's muddy, but it is muddy. Dude, there was 87 boats. Like seriously, 87. Not an exaggeration. And from here to over there, in this 87 boats. Well, I stopped on the way up here and checked a little spot on the way. The water was a little muddy. Just got up here to my main area. And uh, just a lot of isolated reeds on this flat. Some boats around, but nothing compared to what it was in the tournament. Basically, I'm just fishing super slow. I'm using my power poles a ton. I'm going to, to every one of these little reed heads and just fishing it real slow and methodical. And then there's a lot of stuff under the water too. I'm using my live scope to find a lot of cover and stuff and little cattail clumps under the water that I'm spending a lot of time on flipping and pitching as well. That's about it. You know, it's a big spawning flat. These fish are cruising around in here getting ready to spawn. And, you know, every day I've, I've caught some pretty big ones in here. And I mean, there's, there's a lot of fish still in here. Just have to get in front of the five good ones. We're gonna just mill around in here, take it one fish at a time. Little one. It's a little male.
Got him. Big one, dude. Giant one. Giant one, bro. I mean, a freaking 10 pounder. Now it's a seven. It's giant, bro. God damn. Come here, dude. Come here, bro. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yes. Just one fish at a time, baby. What'd you just just say? one What'd fish you at a time. What'd you just say? <laughs> just one fish at a time. Mm. Okay, we can do this. Let's put this one in. Put it, I'm gonna put her on uh we'll put her on this side right here. Yeah. That's all I've been doing all week. I watched everybody else catch them on drop shots and stuff, dude. And they're catching whatever. I get about 10 bites a day and they weigh pretty good. That felt good. Just gotta do it four more times, dude. Four more times. All we got to do. Oh man, when I hit him over that thing, was like, okay. Hey, I got to go back in ninja mode. Hang on. Got to be in ninja. I've been in ninja mode all week. We'll see y'all in a minute. Bandito bug, baby. I'm just going to tell you, all fishermen, this is red alert. Red alert for all fishermen on the planet. Whether you like Guggen baits or not, I'm just going to tell you, at least buy these. Because this is the absolute must, it's one of them must haves. It's a must have in your boat. Oh, dang. He hit it. No. I forgot I had mono. I put my or my fluorocarbon back on. So the hell that stretch. <laughs> the door leg went. <laughs> oh, this stuff right here. I've been using this a lot. It's scent. It's got a little, it's got different colors. This is the blue one, which works obviously good for the black and blue. And it helps show it up on the sonar a little bit too. But when they bite it, they hold on to it good. And it's real pasty, so it stays on there good. So you can actually see it better on the... Yeah, yeah, it's got, it's got something in it that gives it a little brighter return so you can fine tune your bait a little bit. Smelled it. Just a little dude. He he right now. Yeah. <laughs> Told you it works. Just a little one now. Got her. Got her. Ten pounder. Oh my god, dude. 
It's a freaking mule. Ugh. Come here, baby. Come here. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Oh! Call me crazy, but we just caught a monster, dude. Thank you, Lord. That's a blessing, dude. I love this. I love, I love this lake, man. <laughs> Whew. We're not done. We got to keep going. But that's uh, that's what we needed right there, buddy. That's what we needed. Braided line, bandito bug, trocar hook, guys. This is, I mean, just I'll say this, and I know a lot of guys caught a lot of fish, a lot of guys caught them, but there's nobody in the top 10 here other than one guy was here for a minute. Everybody I saw in this area had spinning rods in their hand, and they caught a lot of fish. They caught a bunch. Every time I, I, I'd hear them, I stopped looking. I told my co I said, Don't tell me if anybody's catching a fish. I don't want to know anything. I literally just toned it out and just kept doing my deal and throwing these bigger baits. And that's what those bigger fish eat. That's a Guggen bait, bandito bug. I designed this bait. Let's go. We got we got we got three more. We need three more like that. We can do it, dude. Got him. Another big one. No, nope. not a big big one, but it's a good one. That helps buy like a pound. Every pound counts. That's pretty awesome when you catch a two pounder and it gives you a pound more. Okay. I'm gonna get right here. I think this one's littler. Right? Oh gosh, look at that boil. Look at that boil right there. That fish is coming to the top. It's a, I think it's a 10 pounder, dude. I think it's a monster monster. Got him. Big one. I don't know how big it is, dude, but it's it's mad. Oh yeah, big one. Oh my gosh, dude. Bigger than the other one. Oh no, 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 no. Oh no, oh no. Oh my God, what is going on? Dude, bro. It's a 10 pounder, dude. Got him, that is it, baby! Woo! Woo! That's it! Spin it around on the wacky worm. It's bigger than the other one, dude. Got rid of a one pounder. Oh my gosh, bro. I don't even know what to say right now. I want to cry. I want to jump. I'm shaking, dude. That is a big one. That might be 10 pounds. Look at the gut on that thing, dude. Look at the gut on this thing. Uh, 
Oh my gosh. Am I live? Probably. I'm gonna show y'all a coal. This is a coal you dream of. That is the Bassmasters Classic, baby. <laughs> Darling, Suzanne, how about that? Oh, she's been praying on her butt off. I tell you, this lake's special, dude. This lake's special. This lake is special, bro. Let's go have some fun now. Let's try to do something bigger than we did first day. I think we can do it, dude. Congratulations. I, I think that's, I don't know. I think, I mean, I don't know, dude. It's in, two nines is 18. The six is 24. And two two pounders is 28. 29 pounds. Somebody would have to have 37. I think I just made the best measure of class two, baby. Can I go this year, please? Can y'all just make me go this year? I'll go right now. I'll go to, I'll go to Grand Lake. Whew. Thank you, Jesus. All right, I got to tell you a story. Two stories. One story is last day of practice. I roll in here. I got 20 minutes to fish. Now I know I'm gonna fish in this flat, but I don't really know where I'm gonna start. I know there's gonna be 100 boats. So I'm like, I need to find a little zone. I roll in here, 20 minutes to go. We had to be in at noon. I stopped my boat right here. Put my trolling motor down. I'm like, huh, there's a bite. Huh, there's a bite, there's a bite, there's a bite. Okay, so then I go exclamation point on my unit. I start here, cut 33 pounds right here. I didn't come here yesterday. 23 over there. I came here with 10 minutes to go, dude, and caught an eight and a half. I just pulled up again. I've been here 10 minutes. Just caught another nine. Like, I've caught a 912, and that nine, a 94, an eight something, another eight something within 50 yards of where I'm, my boat's sitting. And that is how I won the tournament. I mean, it was not me. That was a blessing beyond comprehension. So thank you, Lord, because. Uh, I'm just holding the rod in my hand, dude. But if I wouldn't have landed right here, this wouldn't have happened. It's not a secret spot, it just happens to be. And the second thing is, my lucky sandwich. My guy made it for me on the first day and he's like, hey, you should, and I caught 33, he's like, you should eat your sandwich now. I said, no way, dude. I'll eat that thing on Saturday. We're gonna eat this on the way in. Oh, wow. Dude, what a fight in the power poles. It went dunk, 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 and I went, uh, it, I, look, I was looking at that fish, it didn't look like a 10 pounder to me. I thought it was like a five or six pounder. Is that the same one you saw? Yeah. All right, let's catch, let's just, let's go have fun, dude. Let's try to catch two more big ones and have like seriously 35 pounds or something. Thank you, P-Line. Thank you, Lose. I've been fishing Lose this year. I switched over to Lose, and I tell you what, man, my confidence level, and I know this will sound like a sales pitch, but this is not one bit a sales pitch. This stuff is awesome. All these actions are perfect. I've got choices of rods and reels, and when I put them in my hand for the first time, uh, Rocky at Lose, thank you for believing in me. Um, I felt the difference, dude, and that's their little tagline, and that is why, because these rods are amazing. The reels are amazing so many different actions for every little technique and I, I feel like i have so many options now i'm playing with a full bag and so I, I told rocky i said i've got a lot of confidence right now with these these the rods good rods will make you fish better a hundred percent let's go All right, my dad won a bass masters in that same parking lot at our marina when i was like 13 years old and that inspired me and so if i can pull it off today standing in that same parking lot in front of my mom and Hopefully my dad and everybody would be pretty uh, pretty monumental for me. And, and I just want to represent this lake. I wanted to, I want to win this tournament for my family, but also for this lake. I love this lake and we got to we got to take care of this thing. And, um, but you know what? We've got several more, a couple more hours. Just buckle down and let's, uh, let's fish hard the next two hours and see what we can do. You're saying you might be close to if not over the yeah, that would be awesome. That would be, that would be really awesome. You know, for me, having Okeechobee represent 
a weight record with my name on it. It's awesome. I think Byron Velvet had it, Clear Lake. I think it was Clear Lake, Byron, Byron Velvet. So we're gonna have to call Byron here in a little bit. If I do, if that is the case, I'll tell him I'm sorry. He's a good buddy of mine, but he had it long enough. It probably hurts people the most as they get spun out a little bit when they're not catching them that good. They start fishing too fast. They start trying to make things happen. And it's actually the opposite of what you want to do. You want to slow down. If you're not catching them, slow down more. Don't speed up. Don't run around like I got to run here, run there. No, just slow down. That's a hard concept that people understand. Yeah. Dude, I, I, I caught 33 pounds the first day from right here. To, to that second patch. This is as far as I went. Biggin. Oh, good one. Every pound counts. Just sitting there. Just sitting there. It went. Three pounder. Oh, that was right on cue. Right, I think. I'm glad we got those mats now. My very first tournament that I fished. Um, my fish jumped out. I opened this box up, didn't it? Went out of the boat. Definitely a seven or eight pounder or whatever. That second was big. Uh oh, uh oh. Oh gosh, dude, I got her. She's the monster. Oh my gosh. Bro. <laughs> dude. 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 Has anybody bought them yet on Tackle Warehouse? <laughs> I'm just asking. Magical. What do you have to say for yourself? I, I don't even know, man. I mean, this is just like, it, I'm not even driving right now, bro. This is the man of, upstairs. The Lord has been good to me over the years. And it's just a blessing. It's a true blessing. So many people are praying for me. My wife's just been praying hard. She's been just doing everything she can. And thank you, Lord. Wow. <laughs> that is a call. Wow. He can see this one from here. Bro. Hey, man. That's unbelievable, dude. I'm glad I was here to see this. I tell you what, I love this lake. I know I keep saying it, but I this is like a this is like my family. I started an organization called Anglers for Lake Okeechobee, AFLO. And I want everybody to do me a favor, if you don't mind. There's not a lot of people that live around this lake. Smallest population probably in the state of Florida. Got a lot of people on the coast, a lot of money on the coast. We need everyone that's watching this to go to Anglers for Lake Okeechobee, Instagram and Facebook, and follow our page. If you've ever fished this lake, if you've ever wanted to fish this lake, be part of the conversation. We're putting on there all the time how we need to put funding. We need Governor DeSantis to 
earmark some major funding, millions of dollars for funding inside Lake Okeechobee. We need vegetation back in this lake. We need habitat back in this lake. We have to protect not only the businesses and the small towns around this lake, but we have to protect these fish. They have rights too. This is a natural lake. They didn't build this lake. God built this lake. And there's no reason we should be destroying this lake just because we don't have a better idea. We spend billions of dollars around this lake. We need to spend millions of dollars in this lake. So I challenge the governor to do that. And I just ask everybody watching this, write the governor, write the South Florida Water Management, write the Corps of Engineers, and let them know that Lake Okeechobee is worth saving. day. What an absolute day. Uh, it's Scott, surreal. We go to the law. Okay, thank you. Good job, Scott. Thank you. Just unbelievable, really. I don't even know what to say, man. I mean, it's just, it's just a crazy deal. It was like, I wasn't even, <laughs> I was just hanging on to the rod. Again, I, you know, we got really blessed by finding those sweet spots in the spot. And what we caught all of our fish just crazy just man i hope you guys enjoyed watching it i think the weigh-in is going to be spectacular so just i don't even know what to say i just i just love all y'all thank you for following the channel thank you for all the support let's go weigh them in That's a really good lucky sandwich too. Was it? I just, ate, I just ate half the lucky sandwich. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, dude. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of you, man. Oh my god. I'm so you catching any luck? <laughs> <laughs> I got a few. I got a, I, you you get, 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 get your limit? I got a three pounder. You got a limit? One. Okay. Yeah. You got a good limit? That dang three pounder, I couldn't get rid of. A couple, couple <laughs> 10 or 12 pounds, huh? Yeah. Hey, man. Oh, I can pick you up right now, throw you in the water. I'll do that. Squeeze <laughs> behind. How you doing? I bet one of them had your name on it. Meanwhile, one of them has your name on it. Who? The bass are in there. There's bass in there. I, I was in the tournament today and I got a big bunch of fish in there. <laughs> oh gosh, I got chew bumps going all up and down. I'm so proud of you. <laughs> Woo! Good job. I know. Okay. It was like 11 o'clock. I didn't have anything, I don't think. I had like one pounder, a one one pounder. We're watching. Okay. One. There you go. I want you to sit right over here where this says Traeger. Okay, Traeger. Yeah. Okay. Right here. Rules for this. Okay. Yeah. If one jumps out of that bag, oh, you just grab him. I kick it over. No, you grab him. You oh. land on Here's top of it. That's a keeper. That's a little. That would probably win the tournament right there. You don't even need any more. Mama, look at that one. Oh, Woo. Oh, Woo. Is that real? That's real. It's plastic. Uh -uh. Yeah. Oh, man. oh my uh -uh. God. <laughs> look at that one, Mama. Oh, Touch him. <laughs> Here, hold that up. Wow, Billy. Oh, he's stinky. Well. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Look at that one, Mama. Touch that one. Touch it. Oh my God! Awesome. They're twins. Oh, you got twins. Mm. <laughs> oh, holy moly! Yeah. Gonna say, how the heck are you gonna carry that? I need people. If this bag breaks or something, we gotta we gotta stop, drop, and roll. Heck <laughs> yes, God. So good. Good. Go, baby. Thank you. I love you. Thank you. Dude, I didn't have it like at 11 o'clock. I think I had one fish for like a pound. 
Anyways, man, just just special, really. I mean, I don't have words for it. Just a magical three days here. Weather was good, you know. And, and, and going into this event before before practice started, I was really really negative in my mind a little bit on this lake. I thought I thought the fishing was going to be a little stinky for me. I thought I was going to have a hard time, but obviously it turned around. The weather got really good. The fish started biting well, and uh, it was just magical. But everybody caught them good, you know. <laughs> 30, 30 something pounds. Catch my two biggest bags I've ever fished in a tournament this week. Pretty amazing, really. So, have dad here. It's pretty special. My dad won a Bassmaster in this parking lot when I was about 13 years old. So, it's pretty special to be here and hopefully win another one. Hang on, Scott. I know you're like ready to get up here, but it's the moment we've all been waiting for. You guys realize you might be about to see history. Again, I said it. Scott set the single day record, weight record, earlier this week. We didn't even talk about it at 33 pounds and 2 ounces for the Opens. That unseated Whitney Stevens 32-13 bag. Right now, he hasn't even weighed in, and he has a two-day total of 58-15. So we've got several records that we're after. He may even break that, his, his personal bag record from two days ago. We're going to find out. We know that he's got a chance for that. But the first record is Gerald Swindle record, which is the Open's record of a three-day total of 80 pounds and 13 ounces. The next record we're after is the all-time three-day tournament weight record of 83.5 caught by Bauer and Velvet. We know that is all up for grabs. Are we ready? Are you guys ready? Because I need you going crazy once this happens. All right, Tucker, we need you side by side. You get out of that hot seat because you're in second pl or first place right now. Let's bring him up out of Clewiston, Florida. Scott Martin, bring him to the stage. Five in the bag. You need nine pounds, 13 ounces to unseat Tucker Smith. I think that's gonna happen. Looking for nine to 13, he's got it. 31 pounds, seven ounces. Three day total of 90 pounds and six ounces. It's gonna be a new Bassmaster all-time three-day tournament total record again of 90 pounds and six ounces. He's gonna be your champion, Clues in Florida. Let's hear it for him. It's a new all-time Bassmaster weight record for a three-day tournament. Let's hear it for him. He's gonna be your champion. What a special week. <laughs> Woo! Uh, I've had to hold it in all week. <laughs> uh, I knew this was going to be a tough tournament, and I knew I was going to have to just fish as slow and methodical as I could. And I had to, you know, in a lot of tournaments, you run around and you try to fish and you try to get excited and you try to do this and that and keep your energy level. But I was the opposite. I just, I was going to just cover water and fish slow. And I tell you what, the Lord blessed me so much. I, I, I just can't even believe it. You know, I, I gave my life to the, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ back in 2000, and He's changed my life. He's made me a better father. He's made me a better husband. He's made me a better friend, and He's given me eternal life. So it's been been amazing. But to win it here in this parking lot in front of my mom, I'm so glad you're here, mom. My dad is here. He won a tournament here uh, in '91, right on the other side of the marina here. We had the stage set up. And uh, I was felt like I was part of that tournament. I practiced with Dad those couple days, and he gave me credit on stage that I was a big help that week. He had me rigging tackle at night and helping him get his stuff ready and everything. And that was the first time I thought, you know, I really want to stand on that stage one day. And to have that go full circle here in Clewiston in front of my family and friends is just so amazing. So, and my sister, I'm so proud of her, what she's doing. My nephews, Shara over there, the, the help that you give, Shara, I, I tell you, um, Shara's helping us out with my mom and she's been a big help it's been a big deal so thank you so much for all that because you're able to get her here and all that it's a big deal my wife I love you so much babe <laughs> she's been praying uh, I'm, I'm probably forgetting people but my boys I just love everybody thank you so much uh, <laughs> it's just a blessing 
and now I'll, I'll just say that. I mean, we this town means a lot. I mean, Scott, they were out there in the mornings driving golf carts. You know, it was a, about so much more than just the fishing tournament. Just to cap it off with with the way you just won this event, it was just something special. And I'm glad, just personally, I was able, and the Bass staff, we were able to to be a part of writing this history in the, in the sport that we also love. Well, I tell you, this this. Every tournament I've ever won, I've had motivation of some sort to win it. And, and my motivation this week was this lake. Uh, I started an organization, we all did, Raymond, myself, my wife, a bunch of other people, called Anglers for Lake Okeechobee. And it's where we fight for the health of this lake. We're fighting for the vegetation, we're fighting for the fish, we're fighting for the small towns around this lake and the people that call this place home. And we need help. We need Governor DeSantis to put money inside of Lake Okeechobee. We're spending lots of money around the lake. But we need money in the lake. We need vegetation in the lake. We need proper water levels in this lake because we have to protect this natural resource. This is a natural lake. It's not man-made. It's God, God made. And I tell you, uh, we just have to do that. So do me a favor, everyone that's watching this, follow us on Instagram and Facebook, Anglers for Lake Okeechobee. Be part of the conversation. That's all we can do. Help fight for us. Send the governor uh, an email, a letter. The Corps of Engineers and South Florida Water Manager, let them know that we got to protect this lake because it's worth saving. Couldn't say it better myself, and we may be running for governor later. All right, let's talk about a little bit of things that we just notched on our belt. $50,000, I know that's not a big deal, but uh, we were the first person out for the 2024 Classic. Now you're the first one in for the 2025 Classic. Well, I was that uh, well, special. I tell you, it takes a lot of pressure off of me, you know, to be able to fish the rest of the year on the Elites. I'm really loving my boat. Everything that I've got set up this year, I made a couple changes. My rods and reels are just amazing. I'm fishing with Lou's. I'm fishing with a lot of confidence. The rods are amazing. All the actions and all that stuff. Really, I'm, it honestly plays a huge part in, in my success this week. I've got a new graph mounts beat down outdoors. My Dakota lithium batteries. I mean, I, 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 there's so many things. When you have your boat and your equipment dialed in 100%, you're gonna fish better. And that's the, how it is. I just, my big, huge thank you to all my sponsors. Uh, before I forget my two boys, Jacob and Reed over there, I tell you what, they're, they're such amazing young men, 23 and 24 years old, doing well. My son came uh, from down from Fort Lauderdale to watch this, so I just, you know, I know I'm rambling now, but I tell you, it's amazing. Hillary is off in Alabama right now. She just fished a tournament. I just FaceTimed her, and she caught a seven-pounder in a tournament at Gunnersville. Go, Hillary. And she had 14 pounds. And my daughter, Amelia, right there. And she's actually the best fisherman in the whole bunch. She really is because she's in fish much. So she's only made like a couple thousand casts ever. But she's caught a lot of 100 bass. So ratio wise, she's killing it. Want all some hardware? I'm ready. <coughs> all right, let's get Buzz up here from St. Croix Rods. And on behalf of our title sponsor in here at Bass, let's make it official. Clues in Florida, let's get loud for your champion with a three day total of 90 pounds and six ounces. You know that last name, it's Martin, and the first name is Scott. Let's hear it for your champion here. Guys, I can't believe it. I mean, it's so special to win. Oh, this trophy is, just means so much to so win here awesome. in this parking lot in front of my family and my mom and my dad and my wife and the girls, except Hillary. She's in a tournament. <laughs> Go figure, right? But uh, thank you all so much. I, I don't even know what to say. This is for you all. I know you all been watching these videos on Finished Family Business. We've had a couple goals. Um, we've come up short on a few of them, but we finally notched one down now. We got a victory, and that's one thing that we wanted to check off the list. Now we got to win the Classic, and we need to win an Elite Tournament. So that was my goal. Win an Elite Tournament, it. win an Open, win the Classic, and uh, that would be pretty amazing. So, yeah. It's a pretty good momentum here. Absolutely. Carry this into the... So we qualified for the Bassmasters Classic for next year. So if anybody's watching this, it's for next year's Bassmasters yep. Classic. I'm alternate right now for this year's. So I guess I gotta stand at the ramp with rods in my hand in case somebody gets stuck in a traffic jam they send me. I don't know, something like that. But uh, guys, love you so much. Thank y'all so much for watching this thing. So here's how we're gonna close this one out. We're gonna close this one out <laughs> with a special bam. You ready? Do it. Bam!
and age, I got time for innovation. Time to be creative, time too big to waste on my time.